Ah. Hello there! Welcome to the Slim Pickens channel. Named after my stripper surname. Stripper name surname. Nah, just kidding. Welcome to the Slim Pickens channel. This guitar you see right here in front of you is a Rosen. It is uh, an Asian made instrument. It's got like Chinese writing on the side there, but the model number is G11. Bought off of Amazon almost a year ago. Really ain't been played, but maybe once or twice. Once there in a demo video, because I was trying to sell it for a uh, guitar shop of mine that's still open. Just need to get some inventory up. But, uh, yeah, so this guitar here has really just been hanging on the wall, waiting for an opportunity for me to get to it and to uh, kind of set it up a little bit. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to put on a set of Gideros. Not a sponsor. Just the cheapest thing I, I come across sometimes. If they're affordable, I pick them up. I don't really argue about the, the name of the strings. Man. But uh, these are the manufacturer strings that they put on here. Um, this is really a nice, stout-made, cheaper-end guitar. I mean, really, it's not bad. Uh, I can't wait to actually put a set of the Diodero's on here and uh, we'll see how it sounds. I need to go through it because I think there's an up bow in the neck. I need to go straighten that out. The fretwork is really nice. It's not really catching my fingers at all. So it's really been gone through the detail of this. It's really nice. Now I got another $80 guitar that you're going to see in upcoming episodes that, you know, the difference between those two are night and day. Um, you get what you pay for when you buy cheap stuff. Um, and don't fall into the thing of where, you know, you got to have a, a cheap guitar means beginner's guitar, you know. Uh, buy, if you want to buy an expensive guitar, a good quality guitar, if you're a beginner, go right ahead and knock yourself out. I also want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not certified to do this. I'm not a certified luthier or any, any guitar tech. I just, I'm just a guy who loves guitars, loves working on them, loves music, loves making music and everything about a guitar. But I just have been used over the years to doing my own repair work and my own work on them that, you know, to make them work and last through many years of me having them. Uh, and I, I just love doing it and it's just, it's fun for me. But uh, these aren't client guitars. These are not somebody that, that paid me to do these. This is out of my own cash. This is my cash out of my own pocket to buy these guitars and do this. And uh, so that way, if I do something along the way that tears it up, that's, that's mine. You know, it's not somebody else that I gotta go make amends afterwards after I tear it up. So I just wanna put that disclaimer out there. But I just love having this. I love. It. Hopefully, this this inspires you. To, you know, get out and, and play around with guitars, play them, do music and uh, stuff of that nature. You wanna work on your own and just learn. You know, it's not hard. I mean, there's there's proper tools for the job, and I don't have them, but I they do with you know zip ties and super glue and flathead screwdriver but uh but i got the new setup here what do y'all think nice little backdrop we're gonna get started here and momentarily but i just want to let you know i stayed within the broke budget of the channel and uh pass along the savings to you the only thing that you're required to do i hope you would do is hit that subscribe button it don't cost you a thing to do that just hit that subscribe button hit that bell for new video notifications and hit that like button because it does something so now Let's see what this guitar sounds like with the manufacturer strings on it. And just, just out of, it's pretty much, I mean, this is out of the box as it is. And I tell you what, if you hit that subscribe button for me, I won't wear this hat again. It's a deal, ain't it? Unless you like the hat. Let's see. Not too bad. of the memories I had fun when I was a kid With me, my brother, and a couple of friends would hang out every other weekend Ride our bikes all day long To God knows where Most likely with this pole Ride our 
bikes a mile down that long road And hop the neighbor's fence Get on back to the railroad tracks And get to that trussle That's over that fishing hole Good old boys with bikes and fish holes. So that's how it sounds with the manufacturer's dragons straight out of the uh, gig bag, so to speak. So let's go all over to the workbench, put a little work into this thing, throw some strings on it, deodoros. Why do I got a roll of my tongue all of a sudden? And uh, see how this thing sounds afterwards. Come on, let's go see what we can do after we put a little bit of work into it. Oh, there we go. Get on up. Yeah. I'm going to see what ne uh, the next straightness is. Under tension. I got my ruler here somewhere. Alright, so right, there it is. Whether or not I need to straighten up that neck a little bit, which I think I do. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Neck needs to be definitely needs to be straightened. But let me see what it's like when it straightens off of it. As well. I might go ahead and straighten up the neck anyway. Put the strings on it. Uh, yeah. And that way, it should come out right. And there's definitely a huge up bow in this. Or, you know, I'm just going to take the strings off and really second guess myself like I do a hundred thousand times. Really quickly, hold your breath. Let's go inside. I'll turn that light on so we can see down inside the belly here. Ain't bad at all. Nice and clean, what I can see. Yeah, not bad for it to be hung on the wall for about a year. Usually, you find some spider web growing in it, maybe. I can get a hold of it here. I can spin all the way around. Get a hold of the phone better. Wow! High quality guitar. I didn't even know that was there. I really didn't. Nice. And the truss rod looks really good. I'm on out of our phone. And up you go, right there on the tripod. Which is actually a guitar hanger, but you know. You use what you use, what you got available. And it don't look too bad. I don't think I'll worry about cleaning it too much. I'll just do a spot dusting here with a wet wipe. Just kind of clean it off a little bit. Dust it all the way down here, down the headstock. getting used to this new camera setup. I can actually have over the, the the workbench views here which is nice uh, without having to prop it up anywhere. It's real nice. Yeah. Damn, where'd the hair come from? That's nasty. This little spot stuck on there. And if you ever forget what kind of guitar you're playing, I'll tell you right there. Little messages. It's got them. Oh, yeah, don't be afraid to dig into these things. I should oil that up. Probably not going to, though. Give me just a few seconds. I gotta run and get me some set of Allen wrenches and be right back. Alright, alright, let me take the neck straightness one more time with the strings off. 
I'm going from fret 1 to 12, pretty much. Now, it's, it's pretty much flattened out, which I kind of, that's what I was kind of suspecting with the strength tension, strength tension pulling against it. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and turn that truss rod a little bit and kind of back it, uh, tighten it up just maybe a little bit, kind of curve it. Because the strings are going to pull against it, and it should, at that point, should make for the correction and the adjustment of it. Or, you know, maybe that truss rod is just not doing the job it's supposed to be doing. I don't know. So I'm going to toy around with it and see what happens. Again, I'm not sure. I'm not a professional at it. I just play around with it until I figure it out. So that's what I'm going to do here. And as we guessed, truss rod's right in here in this part. And I think it's... Uh, either a five or a four mil it's a metric size so I'm gonna try to five first to see if it works stick it in there see if that truss rod even moves it's got to be a four it's a four mil just kind of see if it moves it's just loose no you ain't got to get two just do little bits at a time and once the strain tension, what I might do is tighten it up a little bit. And when I get the strains back on it, then check the neck straightness and then adjust the truss rod for the uh, to, to straighten the neck out. But let me see if tightening it any kind of made any kind of changes in it at all. Pretty much just to check see if the truss rod is actually doing any kind of work at all here. tightened up. It was loose. I mean, I, I barely put the pressure on it to begin with. And back and forth here. And the reason I'm going back and forth on here is that way I know if, check see there's a twist in the neck. If these at the end over here, if there's still an up bow on this side and it's straight on this side, and I'm gonna, I'm going to suspect that I got a twisted neck. But you can eyeball it uh, just looking down the headstock on both sides, but this, this kind of is a way for me to kind of check for that, and it's straight right now, and it's not rocking back and forth, so truss rod is doing its work, but when I get the strings on it, I'll adjust it then, because apparently it's pulling up on the neck, so that's when I'll make the adjustments. And normally I would worry about the strain height, but this is actually not too bad on this. You can't really, I mean, just the uh, strain height on an acoustic guitar, you, it's only so low you can go on them anyway. Uh, it's been my experience. I mean, you can get down as low as you can. I have been able to get one or two down to the nth degree, and where a quarter you struggle just pushing a quarter through on the twelfth fret, you know. But I'm not going to worry about it on this. Let's just slap some strings on it and see what I got. And I'm not going to focus too much time on on. Play, uh, showing y'all, you know, putting the strings on. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Just about every pack of string you get, they're either color-coded like this, showing you which string goes where, sixth, first one up to the sixth, and it's super easy. So that's why I have stressed trying to show y'all how to do this, because it's, it's super easy. Alright, so now that we got in a rough tuning, now I want to go through and settle the strings in. Uh, you know what I do by now. I uh, get, to get them into a rough tuning um, here, which is just about right. Not quite, it might be kind of a half key lower. I don't have a tuner, so I did the best I can. So I tug on it while moving this string, moving this hand down the fretboard. Let's listen to the tone. I'll pull on it. It only fell like an imp uh, key lower. So I'm going to do that now on the rest of the string, settle in it, and I'll see you when I get ready to test out the neck straightness. Okay, I didn't really settle the strings in yet, but I'll do that when I get ready to do the uh, reveal here. Let's see. And actually, the neck has not moved. It's, it's 
got a slight bow in it, actually, so I might. Yeah, I'm going to have to move the neck. I trust her out some more, but there is a bow in it. So it's under strength tension that it really starts to bow. So let me fix on that right now. And I shouldn't have to twist it too much, just a little bit. There we go. You don't want to go whole hog. You want to do that once. Come through here and look at the neck now. Now that I move the guitar over a little bit. Now look at the neck. And now look. A little more. Although movement from them strings back to get out of the way for the Allen wrench is helping settle them in. I'll live with that. Could be could be a little bit more, but it's getting so tight now. The truss rod. I don't really want to push it too much. But it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Let's move on. Alright, I did go ahead and and, and uh, settle the strings in. The, the best I could there. Uh, so what I want to do now is I'm kind of adjust these screws on these because they are kind of loose. I'm not where I can get to it here. Oop, wrong, wrong screwdriver there, Matthew. You need the Phillips. I'll be right back to y'all. All right, the guitar is over there now. We're gonna transition to that over there and uh, get ready to hear how it sounds. Set up with a little bit of setup and you know, new string, uh, some you know, decent strings. All right, so now we're all set up. Here. Might be a little tweaking on the tuning that fell off, but I got the uh, got the hair somewhere over here. I left it. Where'd I leave it? Where'd I leave it? Where you at? There you are. I'm coming. I'm coming. I didn't forget y'all. Ah. This is really professional. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Whoo. Where did I have the capo before? I don't know. Can't do a playback because I have. I do uh, raw footage pretty much. <laughs> uh, yes, one recording and get that done. So now, let's see. I probably got to fix the tuning on this. I think the second string was a little sharp. Let's see. Almost. I don't own a tuner, so I do the best I can here as far as getting a tune. So uh, I think it was bikes and fishing poles. Let's let's see how this thing sounds with 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 some new strings, diaderos, or some good, you know. Let's see, let's see if this thing is shot. Ooh, yeah. Some of the memories I had from when I was a kid with me, my brother, and a couple of friends with every other weekend for bikes all day long to God knows where most likely with fishing poles dangling in the air we'd ride our bikes a mile down that lime rock road and hop the neighbor's fence get on back to the railroad tracks Get to that trestle that's over that fishing hole. Oh, 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 Neighbor's fence, 
Get on back to the railroad tracks And get to that trestle that's over that fishy Oh, 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 yeah A bunch of good old boys with bikes and fishing Shabby, not too bad for 80 bucks, and it's really a year old now, but out of box. But I mean, just for a little bit of setup, straightening the neck, going through, you know, tightening a little bit of screws here, putting a good fresh set of strings on here. Really, I didn't really do anything to it. It's it's super easy. So just you can do this on your own. So until next time, thank you so much for clicking on me. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell for when the new videos pop up. I try to upload once a week every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So please be sure not to miss an episode. Uh, more to come. Goodbye. And until I, until next time, I'll see you when I see you. I'll fumble over my own words. This exit straight out of here while I get this good. Don't, don't, don't.